Mesa Fever Lacrosse and John Nostrand Lacrosse Camps. Mesa Fresh, one of the great club teams out there. And the Fever, Mark Patron, the assistant coach here at Haverford, does an amazing job of keeping that club in the upper echelon of club lacrosse teams. Mesa Fresh and the Fever. Two great organizations. And John Nostrand Lacrosse Camps. Ford's Trail 7 to 2. Ford's in their home whites. McDonough in their road blacks. Booker Corrigan and Rudy Plahuba Hubovich bringing you the call here on CUDA.com and CSE TV. Here's Sapinski against the short stick. Stutter step. Save Stover. Jacob Stover holding more than just his own. Alex Hurdle carries it over midfield, retreats back to his side and makes the tidy pass in the center of the field. And the Eagles again with a successful clear. And Robert Clark settles it for the eggs. Junior Robbie Black settles things. Notre Dame bound. Bobby Austin can't get past the tenacious D of Sandinius. Noah Lehman now applying some pressure to Denver bound Trey McGee. And now he gains a little bit of an edge. But the gap closed quickly. And here's Vallis again. Shot. Nice save to Marco. Glenn brings it in. Sapinski, Connor Keating, just wide. Aiken with the backup. Fiorino squares up on him. Fiorino playing good position defense on Virginia bound. Dox Aiken. And this is Blinn. Blinn, little hesitation move, shot goal. You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. The senior, Peter Blinn, makes it 7 3. Third quarter of today's game brought to you by Mesa Fresh of the Fever Lacrosse Club. Two great organizations coming together. And John Nostrant Lacrosse Camps. Quick face off win for the Fords. Hesitation move shot saves Stone. Shrugs that one off. And that is a momentum changing save by Jacob Stover, who is still at high running for the Under Armour Underclass Player of the Game, the premier recruiting event of its kind. Eight minutes and 15 seconds left, third quarter. McDonough up 7-3. Defensive miscommunication. DeMarco bails out his defense on that one. Al DeMarco with a heroic save on the inside. Back with Keating. Sophomore Brendan O'Neill back in an offensive midi. And Poe did not see that one. 
And Trey McGee's going to get the breakaway. Easy pickets for a star like McGee on that one. 8-3 to three Eagles, 7-24 to go third. Again, takes the faceoff, went down the left side, shot just over the cage. McDonough inside pass, shot. What a save by DeMarco. Go sell your crazy someplace else. We got all the crazy we can need right here. Alex DeMarco. Aiken inside feed just high. And now we get our first man up of the game. It's going to be a pusher, a cross check against Haverford. And the McDonough Eagles will go on the man up. This man up brought to you by Tark's. Tark's restaurant. At Green Springs Station, they're also providing us with a post-game interview. Tark's Restaurant, great place to hang out. Vallis near side, exchanges with McGee. Robert Clark playing the top center. Shot goal. McDonough finishes it off. Great play on the inside. Robbie Black, 6-14 to go, 9-3 now. Eagles as they cash in on the man up. Key to that man up. Very quick passing. Once that play gets going, if you cradle it more than once, you're giving the defense too much time to recover. Justin Whitfeld feeling the pressure of Connor Keating. McDonough Eagles making a statement right now. 9-3 with 5.50 to go in the third. And there's Whitfeld at right place at the right time. Gets it to Robert Clark. Oh, quick strip Dilicious. And Noah Lehman. We get a whistle. And Sapinski with a little transition. Sees Poe Kui. Sky whammy. Now accelerates down the wing. Shane McBride inside feed. And McDonough tremendously efficient clearing the ball today. And now we get another foul. It's going to be on Phil Poque this third quarter. Brought to you by Mesa Fever Lacrosse Club. Mesa Fresh and the Fever Club coming together to support the efforts of these fine athletes and coaches, along with the John Nostrant Lacrosse Camps. If you want to take your game to the next level, get to the John Nostrant Lacrosse Camps this summer. McDonough, man up, McGee, Vallis, Clark, Black. Jackson Morrill on the crease, and Robbie Austin on that low left side. 
There's that roll off McGee back up. Clark shot just wide. Vallis steps into one shot off the iron. Britton Vallis picks up his recommended daily allowance of iron. McGee with a nice ground ball moves it to Vallis. Oh, Vallis with a great stutter step shot just wide. A little jitterbug there by Britton Vallis. As the clock winks towards the four minute mark here, the third quarter, 9 3 year score. McDonough ahead with possession. Here's Clark. And Robbie Black will time and room. Punched out by DeMarco, and that's going to be Haverford possession. That's great, Hustle. You love to see guys diving into the snowbanks. More for fun than anything else. And no worse for the wear. Trey McGee never shy on Hustle. Connor Keating again threatening on that offensive end. Out of that Loyola College mold, Scotty Ratliff and P.T. Ricci. Here's McBride. And now it's Peter Blint. Blint against the long stick. Time and roof shot just wide. Amen looking for the inside feed, doesn't have it, pushes it to the outside. Desperito, and now it's Flynn. Flynn, the senior, down the wing, shot again, just off the mark. Sapinski with that one. A nice move by Amen. Blinn shot, punched out by Stover. And great talk by the McDonough attackman, Robert Clark, to alert. Oh, what a save to Marco. Not you, fat Jesus. No, sir. Goalie's coming up large here late in the third quarter. But no such luck that time. Sapinski makes it 9-4 to four with 2.09 to go in the third. Third quarter brought to you by... Mesa Fever Lacrosse and the John No Strand Lacrosse Camps. Hey, we've seen a lot of ground ball scrums on faceoffs today. Poquie's going to come away with it. He never had possession. I think that was even. That's an unfortunate turn of events. Robert comes away with the loose change. Minute and 25 seconds remaining third quarter. McDonough possession. The Eagles have come up 95. Both teams playing well, but the difference I see right now, Jacob Stover has made all the saves he's supposed to and a couple superb saves. McGee using that speed, always able to get his hands free. And here's Barrett Sutley, little ball fake gets past Sapinski, pushes it behind, and that ball's going to go all the way to the other side. Off the 
foot of Amon, but McDonough comes back with possession. And we're now 30 seconds left in the quarter. Ballas, hesitation move, desk pop, rebound, picked up shot goal. A fortuitous bounce. And Barrett Sutley bangs it home for a 10-4 lead for the Eagles. It goes early. Alardo. Jordy Alardo has done his job today at the faceoff logo. Pushes it down the wing. Cross crease attempt. And that's going to give possession to the Fords. Although McDonough thinks they have it. And Blinn's going to run it out. He only has two seconds left in the quarter. Feeds it down the inside. It will fall to the ground. 10 to 4 your score at the end of the third. Third quarter brought to you by the Mesa Fresh Fever Lacrosse Program. Mesa Fresh, great club, joining forces with the Fever Program. And of course, the John Nostrand Lacrosse Camp. Great organization. Thank you so much to Haverford School for letting us be here. And my man, Joe Raymond, for enduring the cold. Although you're headed to Wisconsin or Michigan, Michigan for college. So get used to it, Slick. Yeah.